In this video, we will explore the presets feature in the InForever Super Filter, which offers users the ability to create and apply pre-configured filter settings. It streamlines filtering by allowing users to quickly switch between commonly used settings without the need for manual adjustments. First, we will explore the date presets, which enables users to configure and apply predefined date presets to filter data efficiently. This functionality simplifies date-based filtering by offering default options and customization by removing the need of complex DAX calculations. Let's get started. First, we enable the preset bar toggle in the format pane. Once enabled, multiple presets appear in the filter, allowing us to filter the report instantly. Here we also provide a variety of default presets that can be selected based on different use cases. We can also create custom date presets to fit specific requirements. To do this, we click on the ellipses icon and select Add Preset. Let's start by removing the default presets from the filter. Then, click on Add to create a new preset. To better understand how custom date presets work, we'll walk through a couple of examples. First, we select the date type and enter a name. Let's add YDD. You can also configure different display styles for the presets allowing users to choose how each preset appears in the filter. Next, we have a variety of date conditions to choose from. The last and next conditions show data for upcoming or previous time periods. This condition filters data for the current day, week, month, or year. Prior to displays data before a specific date, while half year filters data for half of the year. The today and yesterday conditions show only today's data or the previous day's data. We then have YDD, QTD, and MTD, which are standard custom date ranges commonly used in business reporting. Following that is HYTD, which filters data from the start of the current half year up to today. Month to year shows data from the current month through to the end of the year. Lastly, the min and max conditions display the earliest and latest available dates in the data. For this example, we start by selecting the YDD condition and then click back. Next, we add another preset and name it last six months. After that, we select the last condition where you'll see various time periods available to choose from. The year, which is a 12 month period that can begin from any chosen date. Next is the calendar year, which runs from January 1st through December 31st of a given year. A quarter refers to a three month period within the year such as January to March or April to June. Then we have the month, which is simply a calendar month running from the first day to the last day. The calendar month is essentially the same as the month, representing a specific named month in the calendar. Moving on, a week is any consecutive seven-day period, starting from current day. In contrast, the calendar week is the standard week defined by the calendar, usually running from Monday to Sunday. Finally, a day represents a single 24-hour period is one date. For this example, we select the month period and set the value to 6 to show data from the last 6 months. Then click OK. Now, you can see the two date preset buttons displayed in the filter. When you click on either of them, the data is filtered based on the specified conditions. You can also configure custom date presets in the calendar view. However, Please note that these presets only apply to the date slider and the single month range calendar view. This is how you can configure custom date presets in the super filter, eliminating the need for complex DAX calculations. Next, we will explore the saved filter presets, which allows users to add and manage saved filters as presets within the visual, providing quick and convenient access to predefined filters. Here, you can see that we already have two saved filter conditions in the super filter, which we will display as preset buttons. So, click on the ellipses icon and select Add Preset. Then, add a new preset and select the filter type. Note that the filter type option only appears if you have saved the filter condition within the filter itself. Now, the saved filter conditions will be listed under the name section. We select black and blue bike and click back. Next, we add another preset and choose the black clothes and accessories and click OK. You will now see the saved filters appear as preset buttons in the super filter. Clicking any of these buttons filters the report based on the saved conditions. In our example, 
It filters by black and blue colors within the bike category. This is how you can configure save filter presets to simplify repetitive filtering tasks. Now, let's explore conditional formatting presets, which allow users to integrate conditional formatting into presets for quick and convenient access within the visual. In this example, we've applied two conditions in the filter, one for text, where sales is greater than 10 million, and another for background, where sales is less than 500,000. We'll display these conditions as presets in the filter. To do this, click on the ellipses icon and select Add Preset. Next, add a new preset and choose the conditional formatting type. Keep in mind that this option only appears if you've already applied conditional formatting in the filter. In this video, we'll showcase the background color formatting as a preset. So, let's name this preset sales less than 500,000. Select background color as the condition type and click OK. You'll now see the conditional formatting for background color displayed as a preset in the super filter. Clicking this preset filters and highlights all values where sales is less than 500,000 using the defined background color. This is how you can configure conditional formatting presets in the super filter to streamline repetitive formatting tasks. Now, let's explore rank based presets which allow users to apply ranking rules as a preset in the preset bar, enabling quick and consistent filtering based on rank. Here you can see we added the resellers column, which includes 699 resellers. Note that to use rank-based presets, we need to populate the other data field using a DAX measure. Now, let's configure the rank-based presets. Click on the ellipses icon and select Add Preset. Then, Add a new preset and select the rank type. Name it top three resellers. Here we have three rank types. First is predefined, which allows users to apply preset ranking rules for quick and consistent filtering. Instead of manually adjusting rankings each time, users can save ranking presets, such as top and bottom three resellers, ensuring the same criteria is applied across all users. Next is user defined which allows users to define rankings on the fly. Instead of applying a fixed ranking, users can choose between top or bottom and configure ranking values dynamically when selecting a preset. And last is Reset Rank, which clears the applied ranking filter. Now we select the predefined option, and you can see the period option becomes available to choose top or bottom in. Let's choose top in and set the value to three. Now, click on back and add another preset. Select the rank type and name this preset dynamic ranking. Then choose the user defined rank type and click OK. First, we click on the top three resellers preset and you will see the report filters and displays the top three resellers based on sales. Now, unselect the top three resellers preset and click on dynamic ranking. This time, a pop-up appears, allowing users to configure the ranking dynamically. Let's choose bottom in, set the value to five, and click OK. Now the report filters and shows the bottom five resellers based on sales. This is how you can configure rank-based presets for quick and consistent filtering based on ranking logic. Lastly, we will explore the measure-based preset feature, which allows users to create preset filters based on numerical measures added to the visual. Users can configure conditions to filter data dynamically based on measure values. Now let's configure. First, click on the ellipses icon and select Add Preset. Then, add a new preset and select the measure type. Name this preset orders greater than 2000. Then, in measure rule, we have four types. First is greater than, which filters values above a specified threshold. Next is less than, which filters values below a specified threshold. Then comes between, which filters values within a defined range. And finally, measure classification, which automatically divides the measure values into clusters based on the number of buttons or specified buckets. In this video, we select the greater than type, set the measure value to 2000, and click on the OK. By clicking this preset, the report filters based on the measure condition. In our example, it filters the products whose order values are greater than 2000. This is how you can configure a measure-based preset in the super filter to dynamically filter data 
based on measure values. This is how you can configure the various preset types in the InForever Super Filter. Download InForever Super Filter today, Microsoft Certified Visual, and use it for free forever. For more information, refer to the documentation provided in the description.